I am going to a supermarket today and I'm gonna bring you with me. In this video, I'm gonna show you how German supermarkets look like, what do they sell in the store, what is my opinion about those items. Apparently, I do have a lot of... <laughs> Apparently, I do have a lot of opinions about them. I shouldn't sound so mean to the chicken. Also, I will let you know some of the must-buy stuff you need to check out once you go to German supermarkets. First, here's a list of things that you should bring to the supermarkets with you. A big shopping bag, because they don't give you free shopping bags over here. So unless you want to pay 20 cent to 50 cent every time you go shopping, bring your own shopping bag. And it's good for the environment too. Next! One euro or two euro coins. It's very important. Do not forget it. I'll explain that later. Drop down here. And last but not least, since I don't have a car, I need something to carry the grocery back home. So, bring a shopping trolley like this. It is super convenient and it's super popular in Germany too. Let me change my clothes and let's go. So the first thing you need to do when going shopping over here is obviously getting a cart. But it's not that easy like in Vietnam when you can just yank one and go shopping. Over here you need to pay a deposit for it. And that's why I bought the coins here. Normally you have to pay one or two euros and then use the coin, put it into this. I think it's a very smart system because once you're done with shopping, you have to bring the card back to its place if you want to get your deposit back. And it's better than everybody just throw cards everywhere without picking it up. So good job Germany. I think I chose the wrong day to go here and film this video because today is Saturday and tomorrow all of the supermarkets in Germany is closed so literally everybody in Mannheim is here and it is too crowded to film but we'll make the most out of it So I'm standing in front of the sock section but I want to talk about the vegetable and the foods here but it's super crowded over there So if you like apple, pears, plum and peaches like those things that you can find in cold climate you're gonna love it here but if you love tropical food yeah obviously you're gonna have a hard time uh, because although they sell pineapple, banana, uh, mango things like that over here it tastes nothing like in the tropical area <laughs> about vegetable they have a lot of roots like carrot a beetroot things like that i mean if you don't need green vegetable to survive you're gonna be okay i was suffering a lot until i find asian supermarkets and vietnamese farmer over here <laughs> but that's another story the baking section of german supermarket is the equivalent of the spice section in Asian supermarket, I would say, because so much interesting stuff here that I barely ever seen in my life. When I first came here, I used to very into baking because of this, because all of these are very interesting to me. And when I first go shopping here, it's always took me hours seeing this stuff. Alcohol is dirt cheap in Germany compared to Vietnam. I don't know why. Maybe because us Vietnamese don't really drink wine. We basically drink the Vietnamese version of vodka that is made from rice and like 40 degree. Before coming here, I didn't know that there are so many kinds of white too. I only know the white one that I told you, but over here they have like the sweet one, the sour one, the bitter one, the dry one, and they taste good. Before I thought like all alcohol taste the same and they taste horrible, but these, they taste really, really good. So if you come to Germany, definitely try out alcohol in the supermarket and buy the cheap one. These are like, these are the fancy one already, okay? These are like... 9 euros these are the fancy one you can buy the one that costs like 3 euros i'm gonna show you and it tastes as good as the expensive one these are two and a half euros and i bet these are pretty good too my favorite kinds of alcohol in germany is wine schaller basically wine mixed with sparkling water <laughs> and then normally they do it at home but now they even sell it for lazy people it tastes super fresh it's perfect for the summer you barely taste the alcohol but you get drunk pretty fast as well and normally when we go to any festival they sell it a lot and it tastes very awesome for summer but this is not my favorite kind of alcohol in germany i'm gonna show you my favorite and luckily we are in the season two let's go Ta -da! So this is called new wine. It's basically just grape juice and they fermented it a little bit just for like 1%. So when you drink them, you don't really taste the alcohol, but it's fuzzy and it's really, really fresh. And the longer you leave it, it will just keep fermented and fermented. So at the end, it's gonna be like 10%, I think. 
I just like German loves mixing drinks together. Like you know that they have hundreds of different kind of beer mixing already. But there's something very popular called Mezzo Mix over here. It's a mixture between Coca-Cola and orange juice. And uh, do I have ever tried it before? I guess I did. I'm not sure if I like it, but it's super popular and many of my German fans love it. So this is the cheap section of the supermarkets. Okay, maybe this is a personal thing, but I don't like chips in Germany. I don't like them and I really, really miss my chips at home. I mentioned it once on my shorts that many of the chips flavor in Germany are just paprika, like bell pepper. I don't know why. German loves bell pepper so much. For me, it tastes almost like nothing. It's not spicy. It's basically just colorful, red. The most common flavor they have here is salty and sometimes sour and sometimes they put onion on it. I don't know, it is not my taste. And the sweets over here, I'm sorry, but it's also not my taste. Please don't cancel me. I think that it's a bit too sweet and also full of chocolate, just like this. You have a bit of waffle and then the rest are just chocolate and I can eat one of them and after that I'm done. Maybe because uh, from our culture, we don't really eat sweet at snack, we eat food at snack, so I'm a bit picky with sweets. But when I want some sweets, I want something which is not very like sugary and uh, it has a bit of more flavor. But over here, it's just sweet and chocolatey. Even the cookies are also quite sweet as well. Actually, I think I was kind of harsh about the sweets in Germany because now I just remember that they have really, really good biscuits. Is that called biscuits? I think they are not really from Germany, but they are popular here. You can find them at every supermarket, I would say. And whenever I go back to Vietnam, I bought tons of these because they are not very sweet. They taste like cinnamon. And when you dip them with coffee or milk, it's really, really tasty. <laughs> This is the chocolate section. I think if you are a chocolate lover, you're gonna love Germany because they have good chocolate for cheap price and it tastes really, really good as well. There's not much I can say because I don't really eat chocolate, but I'll try to give you some basic facts first. This is Lindo. It's a fancy chocolate brand from Switzerland, but you can easily get it here because we are very close to Switzerland and I like them. If you don't want to pay too much money for fancy chocolate, here you can go for the cheap German brand as well. It's Milka. It tastes really good too, a bit too sweet, but also very good. I'm not a chocolate expert. That's everything I could say. But yeah, they're all too sweet for me anyway. Hi, so a German boyfriend watched that part of the video and he made me to issue an apology. Apparently, Milka is not a cheap brand. It is just cheaper than the Lindel chocolate from Switzerland. Back to the video. You cannot talk about German sweets without mentioning the legendary Haribo. They are made from Germany and they are gummy bear, but in Vietnamese we call them chip chip and I still call them that until now because it's such a cute name. Every time I tell a German, do you want some chip chip? They always look at me like, what? What do you mean? Since Haribo is from Germany, over here in the supermarkets, you can find tons of different flavor of Haribo that you cannot find anywhere else. I only have one beef with Haribo. I don't know why, but every time I eat more than five of these, not even the whole pack, five of these small things, my teeth get very hurt and it hurts for like days. Is that because it's too sour or something? I want to eat more because it's so yummy. It just really, really hurt. My favorite kinds of chip chip is the one with the marshmallow. So not only it's stretchy, it's also soft and easy to chew as well. I really, really like it. I forgot to tell you something very important about Haribo. The thing I love the most about Haribo is not the candy or the taste, it's the boxes. Believe me, if you are cheap like me, or if you just move to Germany and you need boxes to like organize your house, get the Haribo box. It's so strong. I had like some of them and I used them for two years in Germany. You just get the free box like this. Normally the supermarket will just let you get them and then put things, stack them up like this. And then you can just put stuff in here. I used to put my shoes in here. I used to put my clothes in here. It fits everything. It's super, super convenient. Trust me on this. <laughs> mm. 
if you are Asian like me and you're wondering if there's Asian section at the supermarkets in Germany yes most of them the big one they have it but do not go there <laughs> because the stuff they have here is not authentic it's not really good just go to Asian supermarkets in your city they have way better stuff than this normally I just go here when I have nowhere to go anymore it's like the last resort for me before I bring you to the next place, we need to change our clothes, okay? I brought a jacket with me because I'm not gonna explain it. Just gonna wear the jacket first. Let's go. So here we are at the cold section of the supermarket and you do need a jacket because I don't know why but it's freaking cold here. Every single supermarket in Germany has the coldest, coldest cold section I have ever been to is feel like walking into a fridge it's 30 degrees outside if my Vietnamese mom is here she's gonna tell me that it's gonna make me sick for sure so Germans eat a lot of meat but I feel like they mostly eat the basic part they're just the one with the meat only us Vietnamese we eat the fat part we eat the intestine we eat the skin the head yeah we eat really a lot of crazy part but I, I like that part more than the normal meat and it's really really hard to find over here If you want to buy tea, go to Germany. They have hundreds of different kinds of tea. I've been here for four years and I barely even taste like uh, 10 of them. Also, once you're sick and you go to see the doctor over here, they always tell you to go home and get some tea. And they think that tea is gonna fix everything. There's no need for modern medicine until you like literally has to go to the hospital. That's it. So I'm home now. And to be honest with you, I didn't know that I was that fascinated about German supermarket because after talking for like two hours to film the video there, I still have so much thing to talk about German supermarkets. Therefore, if you want a part two, please leave a comment so that I'm more motivated to go back there and film another video soon. And if you watched the video until now, first of all, thank you very much. Also, if you can click the like button here, that would be very great because it would help me a lot. Also, the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet. Anyway, I had to go and take care of the grocery. Thank you very much for watching as usual and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!